Hi, um, my name is Shannon and I am doing my second round of the Whole30 Diet. I did this last year around this time and had amazing results. Um, I think starting out the year with this is a really great idea. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about my experience and why I'm doing it again. I have rheumatoid arthritis and uh, which involves a lot of inflammation, um, joint pain, and I'm looking for a way to alleviate that. And that's going to be what my journey is about. Um, the Whole30 diet program is an elimination diet, which you eliminate all sorts of foods that can cause inflammation, digestive issues, brain fog, all of those things. So by eliminating those foods and then reintroducing them, you find out what really affects your body. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be finding out what foods cause me to be more inflamed. So my goal is to eliminate my rheumatoid arthritis symptoms by what I eat. So a little bit about the Whole30 is that you eliminate all dairy, all sweeteners, all grains, including corn, rice, quinoa, barley, everything like that, oats, um, all gluten, so no bread nothing made with bread, um, or any combinations of those things. Also no alcohol and no soy products. Um, there are so many resources out there to find out the details on that, but the, that is the main idea. So basically what I'll be eating for the next 30 days is um, meats without any sugar, vegetables, <laughs> fruits, and healthy fats. And this will be my journey on um, going through that process. So I'm going to update about once a week on what meals I'm eating, how I'm feeling, what my progress is, and then I'll keep you updated as I do the reintroduction. So at the end of this video, I am going to show you what I have often for lunch on the Whole30 program. So I'm going to be making salmon with asparagus and sweet potatoes. So stay tuned for that recipe and meal prep um, footage at the end. So this is a Primal Kitchen brand mayo. This is one of the only Whole30 compliant mayonnaises that I've found. And you know you can make your own, but I like to have this on hand. I also found this at Whole Foods, Yellow Barn. It's a pasta sauce. It also um, does not have sugar. <laughs> okay, so coconut milk is a staple on the Whole30. Um, also, coconut aminos. This is a Whole30 compliant alternative for soy sauce, since there's no soy allowed. Um, another thing that's really important to have on hand is ghee or clarified butter works as well. So this is your butter alternative. Um, there is no lactose or dairy in this. So I always get those. Um, one other thing that I really like to get is the juice sweetened cranberries. This is found at Whole Foods so there's no sugar added and these are Whole30 compliant. And um, this is also what I got for the week for my breakfast and for my lunches. I've got apples, an avocado, lemon, dill I'm going to use with my salmon for lunch, and a couple other veggies here. I also have roasted red peppers. Um, I'm going to make a roasted red pepper sauce to go over my potatoes and eggs for the morning. Um, also, really good to have is their coconut oil. A cucumber, asparagus. Some green peppers, not green peppers, what are these? Green onions. Shots. I've got <laughs> sh not shallots. No, oh, just kidding. Shallots are like little baby onions. Um chives. I think of chives. Yes. Got my mixed greens for my salad. Oh, another really important thing, uh, bacon. Bacon is approved on the whole 30. However, if you look, most bacons have bacons. Most types of bacon uh, have sugar in them. So at Whole Foods I found this um, sugar free. It's the Welshire brand. So this is Whole30 compliant as well. And a couple other veggies. I've got my potatoes, all my potatoes, white, um, yellow or orange sweet potatoes, the white sweet potatoes. I have my onions, garlic, bell pepper, and a spaghetti squash that I'll make some noodles with. And, and I've got my salmon. So, oh, one more thing. This, this is my Costco pack of Idell's chicken apple sausage. This is Whole30 compliant, and I like to make this with potatoes and um, eggs for my breakfast. And that is what I have for the week. Oh, I have one more thing also. Um, I'm also receiving a Sun Basket meal prep kit, which comes with paleo um, type 
meal kits that I'm going to, that are almost Whole30 compliant, which I can tweak a little bit. So this week I don't have anything for dinner because I'm getting that sun basket. So I'll probably make a video on that as well. Okay, so this meal that I'm making for my lunches this week is a one pan meal. I just started off by trimming the asparagus, putting some olive oil and some pepper, and now I'm cutting up the salmon. So I cut this salmon, it was about a pound um, or 16 ounces into four pieces. Put some pepper, some ghee, then I added some fresh dill on top. And I put them into some tin foil packets. So I wrap these up. Then I went ahead and placed them on the same pan. And next I prepared my sweet potatoes. I chopped these up. And I placed them on the pan as well. Make sure to spread them out so they're all in one even layer so that they cook all the way through. Add a little bit of olive oil. I touched it off with a little bit of garlic salt, maybe a little too much garlic salt, and pop that in the oven at about 425 for about <laughs> 15 minutes. And here it is, my four meals all prepped and ready to go.